Hello everyone, this is Kimball Lynn and welcome to my vlog, A New Season. Hey, we're doing something different today, guys. I'm out at Mesa Verde National Park. I'll just give you a kind of a, an overview where we are. These are juniper trees and there are lots of them. <laughs> it's like a forest of junipers. They've had a lot of fires out here off and on. It's really pretty like this in some places and then other ones it's like really burnt. So anyway, I wanted to come to you guys today. Matthew and I are still working on projects. We're getting things close. So hallelujah. But we would have been talking about what's the next steps. And I've been talking to you guys about that for a long time about taking that first baby step. And what's your first baby step for today? And a lot of people don't even get to the first baby step. So uh, I always said the first baby step to do is write it down. So when Matthew was talking with me, he was talking about writing down the things that I like. So we can start really marketing to people that are like-minded, that's doing the same things and everything else. I brought my list today and I'm going to just let you know what some of the things that I like to do are and to give you guys an idea. So what would you do? You write it down. You write it down. I mean anything. It's like if you're not knowing what direction to go in and you're going, I don't know what I want to do, um, write it down. So write down anything. I tell people write down, I like looking at clouds or I like studying ants or I like looking at butterflies or I like going on the water or I like throwing rocks and skipping stones. I mean, all these things can mean something, guys. So let me go ahead and let you read my list. So, of course, on that one of the top, well, these are not necessarily in the order of priority because God's always first, but uh, one of my top number one things is horses. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that horses are a big thing. Dance, that's another thing. Messianic Judaism, uh, that's really important to me, guys. That's what I'm really called to. Um, outdoors and hiking, obviously, that's what we're doing today. My daughter and I are about ready to go on a hike because we haven't done that for a while. I love to teach. I like to teach the Word. I love to teach dance. I just like teaching people. And, of course, I love the Lord. You know, that's the number one thing. Uh, encouraging the body of Messiah. That's really important to me. We really need hope now, guys. There's so many people that are just really hopeless, and they that's why there's such a huge amount of suicides and everything else. So we need to have hope, and we need to encourage one another. Bringing heaven down to earth, which means what is in heaven can be brought down to earth. And that's what the Lord said to do. When he prayed, he says, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We need to really bring heaven down to earth, which means there's no sickness, there's no poverty, there's no infirmities, there's no diseases, there's none of that stuff. There's no crime even. I mean, you know, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen seeing God glorified. I love it when people get healed or they get miracles or things happen or God just does something outrageous and he gets the glory for it, man. That I love that. Mountains. Oh, I love the mountains. I love the mountains. I'm so glad to be in the Rocky Mountains again. Small towns. That's why I live in one. I love small towns. How I like like little out of the way weird places like you know going to visit little what they call ghost towns or deserted towns that used to be one time but settlements or whatever and uh, now they're totally abandoned because things went in a different direction in their area. I love peace and quiet. Oh man, I love it when you can just stop. Let's just stop. Isn't that awesome? It's quiet. You can just hear birds and stuff in the background. Okay photography and I go oh my gosh I started laughing because I did that for 20 years so yeah and how can I forget about that one I love photography smooth jazz Woohoo! I love smooth jazz that's my favorite type of music but I, I listen to a lot of different, different genres guys I listen to chamber music I listen to some country I listen to foreign music uh, I, there's a lot I listen to I love the arts, and I really feel the arts are really important. You know, the theater, the music, the films, art, you know, like when people are painting. Just all that is really, really important. It's good for the soul, but also opens up a part of the brain that a lot of other things don't. Plus it adds to a dimension to like science and math and just adds a different dimension to that. So that to me is really important. 
and of course Israel. I love, 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 love Israel. And Israel is very important, especially us as believers, we need to stand behind Israel and show them that we love them and that we will stand behind them no matter what. Of course, podcast. I love doing these vlogs because I can kind of see you kind of face to face, but I like doing the vlogs as a different dimension of what I need to be doing. Meeting new people. I like meeting new people, especially from different countries, and finding out what their lifestyle is like, what they do, what life is like every day for them. Animals. I love animals. I love animals, especially horses, like I said before, but uh, I love looking at the wildlife. I like even looking at chipmunks, guys. <laughs> and I like like when we see the elk, when we see the deer, when uh, we'll see bears once in a while. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> and once in a while, you'll see a mountain lion. And so, and then, of course, autumn is my favorite time of year. And that's what we're coming in now. You can't really tell it from here. But as we've been driving around, there's been a lot more yellow. And it's starting to get really beautiful, guys. And I'm really into organic you know, like organic foods, organic everything, organic products, organic laundry. I mean, anything that's I can get organic, I try to get as much as possible. It's really important because we need to keep our bodies healthy. Natural health, that goes right into it. So anything with food and everything, we need to keep ourselves healthy. That's the one thing I was praying. God, I need to be healthy now and be the best I can be so that I can serve you the best I can serve you and national parks which we're in today so like i said we're in mesa verde national park guys if there's another place where i think i just gotta show this to you i'll get the uh, phone out and do a little video just to show you something but yeah mesa verde mesa verde is located in southwest colorado and it's not too far from the four corners area which you know where the four states meet all in one area it's uh, in between Cortez and Durango. If you're ever in this area, please stop by and come to the National Park. Man, it's it's just different. It's high desert. It's a, uh, there's mountains, but it's just really different. It has a lot of high mesas and things like that. So, you know, so that's where they get the name. So anyway, I wanted to just encourage you guys. You know what? Like my book, do what you dream. Do what you dream. Go on uh, my website at www.kimbolen.com. And you'll see books, and my book's available on Amazon. And then you'll see the Declaration Promises. Print those off, guys. Speak those out. We need to move into the destiny. The first step is write it down, write it down, write it down. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to bless you. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmeracha. Ya'er Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha. Yisa Adonai panavalecha v'yasim lecha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom. Guys, it's time to move forward. Somebody said one time, if not now, when? Those whens, he goes, well, I'll get to it someday. Someday never happens. I'll get to it later. Later never happens. You got to take a baby step today. So get that pen and paper out or get your computer out or your iPad or whatever you have and do a list of the things that you love or even like at first. And then you'll be able to whittle them down to the things that you really, really love. And then you'll be able to start going, okay, this is where I need to start moving toward. This is what I really love to do. This is what I'm passionate about. And you'll start finding the destiny that God's really created for you. Have an awesome day, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Be blessed. Shalom.